I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Milo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Molo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Milo had gone, the machine too, but its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, 
he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds, scavengers, and in this wasteland, that meant only one thing, people. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey! Excuse me! Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... Ah, no! Damn birds! Wait! I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. corpse lay propped against a rock. No way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. Over the years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Welcome, unregistered Gaplander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. Thank you. 
So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register! Thanks for your time. Enjoyed every minute of it. How can I be of assistance? There was a strange smell, and it was coming from the truck. The sign was directing me towards immigration. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. U-chip implant successful. You are now registered with Union City. A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. He was a scruffy-looking technician. Excuse me. Oh, hello, visitor. What's up with your bollard? Maybe I can help. <laughs> you? Sure. Hey, listen, Mr. Gaplander. It's totally cute that you want to help. This mechanism is a teeny bit more advanced than what you're used to. You'd be surprised. I'm pretty handy with these sorts of things. Sorry, got to get back to this bollard. It ain't gonna fix itself. I called upon my extensive background in engineering. Hey, it's working. Hey, we fixed it. Yeah, piece of cake. Dude. Council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? So what's your deal, Hobsworth? I am a diagnostician for the Ministry of Comfort. And what exactly does a diagnostician do? or find problems. And fix them? Uh, no, I just diagnose them. Minos fixes them. Hey, have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh no, he was kidnapped, snatched from his village, and brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, nope. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. We're going here with the We're going here received. I recognized the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. 
Excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my deed. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the Gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. What's a deed? My DEET, man. D-T-T. -T, data transfer tool. DEET. What's the DEET for? Duh. Transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. Kid. Push me. Uh. Push me. I've got things to do. Push me. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. I'm Foster. I'll remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. What's your story, Pixel? Well, I'm eight years old and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. <laughs> Very comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago? My brother, Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. 
I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy? I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Like, at least 12. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. Bye. Call it if you need anything. Hello, Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. <laughs> How do you know about the monster? Ember told me. Ember? What did she tell you? That I was making it up? Go away! Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. Voxel, about this monster. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here. And I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big, like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I gonna let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? Did you say you heard kids crying from inside the dog? I think so. Sure sounded like that. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. What is it? A firecracker. I was gonna use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears. Thanks, Voxel. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Voxel's giant dogs. Guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it too. The guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it too.
Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. Do you need a vehicle to get into the city? You do, but I don't. I've got Brucey here. What I do need is a new power cell. And you can't just walk in? Are you mad? Walk into the city? <laughs> There's guns guarding their main gates, and they'd make mincemeat out of you, Sonny Jim. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours, turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to nout. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Have you spoken to Hobsworth? Didn't I say someone competent? That muffin doesn't know a panhard rod from a Chapman strut. So, your truck is full of... Mini Knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K, best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take it, armful. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. Those mini K's you mentioned. As I say, grab an handful. Truck's open. The doors, they're locked shut. Not locked, jammed. Oh, and I'm all out of lubricant. So how can I get in? Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. First off, give the bumper a good wallop. Then, do a little jig. A jig? Aye, a jig. Then pull the door hard. Pretty technical, huh? Have to move with the times, pal. I'll leave you be. I'm fine with that. Bumper. These were not my best moves. There was something strange about the water. And there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing 
An electric fence? There was an electric fence back there. I wondered if it was live. Ow! I was shocked to discover that it was. No wonder the gang gangs kept clear of this death trap. Come on, big fella. So this deed, pretty valuable, huh? Oh, it's only a fundamental part of my enterprise. And the ID that's on it? You bet. That's a citizen's ID. And that would grant access into the city? You're a sharp one, ain't ya? Guess what I just found? A lot of nerve coming back here? Nope. This. What? My deed? I'll have that. Sure, but... How about I give you the deed in exchange for the citizen ID that's on it? The deed for the ID? But... You wouldn't have it back if it weren't for me. It wouldn't have been stolen if it weren't for you. So we're even. <sighs> I suppose that's sort of... fair. Excellent. When do we start? Have you got a U-chip? Yes. My hand is still stinging. Right then. Let's get this over with, yeah? Pass me back my deed, hmm? Follow me over to my workbench. You ready to do this? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Ugh. You want that citizen's ID, right? Yeah. What do I need to do? Cool. Just place your hand flat on the U-chip scanner. Over here on my workbench. Like this? Yeah, good enough. Let me just line up the laser. Oi, keep your hand still or you'll lose it. Uh, is this gonna hurt? No more than getting the chip installed in the first place. Right, just transferring the ID now. You may feel a slight pinch. What was that? That wasn't supposed to happen? There it is again. Must be... Nothing. Must be nothing. Looks like his name was Graham. A fine, upstanding citizen. <clears throat> Graham. Got it. Good luck, citizen Graham. At last I had a citizen ID. I hoped that this was going to be my key to getting into the city. Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Minos. 
the machine ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda labeled Spankles. The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. Error. UGIP firmware outdated. Authority for vehicular access denied. The firmware on my UGIP was out of date. I realized that I'd been sold a dud by Ember. Hello? What is it? I'm talking to Vox here. Can I ask you something? Yeah, go on. There's a problem with this ID you gave me. I tried the bridge, but it wouldn't let me through. Apparently my U-chip is out of date. Oh, right. They had to replace the hand scanner recently. Must be running on new firmware. Much newer than the crappy U-chips from that old terminal. What happened to the old hand scanner? What? Either way, the ID you gave me doesn't work. Hey, listen, guy. The ID is tip-top. It's your U-chip that's the problem. It's old. Like you. Well, have you got any newer replacements? Nuh-uh. That U-chip is in you now. It stays there. You'll need to run an update, but my guess is you can only do that inside the city. And without the update, I can't get across the bridge. I appear to be at an impasse. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. Could maybe hack the bridge, but... Nah. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Did you say hack? Okay. So you know how everything here runs on Minos? Minos? Surely that's not based off the old Link system. That's right. When they upgraded, they dumped the old Link tech. Smart shoes, smart toasters, smart light bulbs, smart fridges. Minos makes everything smart, smart, smart. Except the humans. <laughs> anyway, you know how Hobbsworth is always pointing his scanner at stuff? Yeah. That's his Minos scanner. Minos scanners let guys without any smarts figure out how machines work. Old Hobbsworth has all kinds of safeguards so he can't mess things up more when they break. But with a few modifications... Can you do more than just diagnose Minos machines? Much more. Catch you later. Peace. Graham's ID was finally starting to get me places. I decided to borrow the scanner, indefinitely. Ember. Hi again. Could I borrow your hacker? <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> Could I maybe trade you something for your hacker? <laughs> Honestly, probably not. Okay, so if you won't trade me for that hacker, could you make me one? For a price, and a whole lot of inconvenience. What do you mean? For starters, you need one of Hobbsworth's minor scanners. You get me one of them, and then we can talk about next steps. You mean this thing? Oh, you found one already? Where'd you get it? It was just lying around in Hobsworth's hut. He really should be more careful. Right then. 
Let's see what else you've got in that bag that might be worth my time, trouble and effort. I don't know if you can use this, but how about this finger? Okay, creepy. Let me take a look. Whoa! Okay, this is some serious kit. The micro-actuators alone are worth a bundle. So it's a deal then. You'll hack this scanner, and the finger is yours. You betcha. Pleasure doing business with you. Meet me at my workbench when you're ready. Ember had used the workbench to transfer Graham's ID to my U-chip. All right, one Ember grade Minos hacker. Thanks. So how do I use this thing? You activate scan mode, obviously. Okay, got it. Yeah, well, that's the easy part. Now follow me. This is how I find hidden systems. They're all over the place. Right, so this here is a diagnostic view of Minos.